it's the Gear Tester here, and welcome to my initial impressions review on the Glock 43X. I've had this little handgun in my possession for over two weeks and I really like it. It's an excellent little gun and I actually appreciate its size and compactness. I've been using a Glock 43 for over two years. This is my standard little Glock 43 and I have loved this gun. This gun is small enough and compact enough that I carry it on a regular basis and it's really been a constant companion for the last two years. You'll notice that I don't have a bunch of other videos up on it because it's been my carry gun and when I go to the range I shoot other guns and I keep this one on me ready to go. So I haven't talked a lot about the Glock 43 because I've been carrying it and using it a terrific amount and I really like this little gun. It's an excellent handgun. It can be a constant companion because of its size. It's thin. It's got a relatively small dimension here from the top of the slide to the bottom of the grip which means in and out of a standard pocket is comfortable and easy for me. I can get a full grip on the gun and draw it out. I have been careful in the kind of pants or brand of pants with the size of front pockets which I purchased but this has been an excellent gun. And so when I had the opportunity to pick up a Glock 43X I decided I would do that because I've liked the 43 so much. I have approximately 150 rounds through my Glock 43X. The first thing I did was I took this gun out and I put about 50 to 80 rounds through it to make sure that it ran reliably. I did that before I installed the Excess Sights DXT2 Night Sights on this gun, which are identical to the standard big dots that I have on my 43, but have this luminescent yellowish green circle there on the front. So whereas there's just white on the standard dots, this has kind of a yellowish green there. And this has some uh, luminescent properties. So it's got tritium in it, but that kind of greenish yellow circle around the tritium, so it has a luminescent quality. So if it's in ambient light, it soaks up that light. And if you go into a darker area, it glows. I can show you that here by shining a light on it. I think you can see there very clearly that it's it's glowing more than it was. So that's that's a cool uh, factor, but I wanted to make sure that the gun would run reliably before I started putting night sights that cost $150 on a gun that I might have to send back to the factory. The Glock 43X did great. I have now 150 rounds total through it, and it's just running like a champion. It's a great gun. I think the Glock 43X is kind of a niche handgun. One place that it seems like it would work really well to me is in states where you can only have a 10 round magazine capacity to begin with. That's the standard capacity of the Glock 43X. So I don't see a reason to carry a bigger, bulkier, heavier pistol when I can only have 10 rounds in it anyway. I'm a relatively small, compact guy. I wear size small gloves. My palms are broad and my fingers are short and this gun actually fits me really well. Very comfortably. I feel like it can manipulate it really well. And I think this gun fits me the way most adult men feel the Glock 19 fits their hand or similar sized guns. That it, you can just really get your hand on it and really squeeze and control and, and direct the firearm. Some of my friends that are much larger than me find that the Glock 43 does, is not really conducive to their hand size when they have large hands. Although other friends of mine who are over six feet tall carry and shoot the Glock 43 with no problem. So I really think it's a preference thing, but hand size could come into play. This is a relatively small, thin grip, which makes it really great for pocket carry. The Glock 43X has a larger overall grip to take the, what I'm gonna call 1.5 width or 1.5 stack magazine. So this kind of seems like a single stack mag, but if we compare it to the Glock 43 here, and this is the Glock 43X, you can see that the 43X is substantially wider. And that's how they pack in additional bullets. Another niche area where I think the Glock 43X might just be perfect is appendix carry. It has kind of a short little snout, which means that if you're carrying this appendix carry and you decide to bend over or sit, you've got less barrel down in your pants poking you in the gut or in, in your crotchular area. So I think in terms of that, it's, it's well designed for appendix carry. You can see I've got a couple holsters, a Galco holster and an NSR holster there. 
And these two guns, the Glock 43 and the Glock 43X, can use those holsters interchangeably. It's got a better fit on the Glock 43 because these holsters were designed for the 43 than for the 43X. The kind of scalloping here means that there's a little bit of wobble in the holsters, whereas on the 43, the holsters uh, are really tight around there. So there's a little difference there, but the holsters are fully usable with both guns, which is really nice to have interchangeability. But in terms of the Glock 43X and appendix carry, I actually like for appendix carry a little bit larger grip for me to be able to get it and pull it out to be able to clear my garments and have a larger area for my hand to land on and find and grip and draw the handgun. So I think that the 43X might just be the perfect little gun for individuals who want to carry appendix but need a thinner, compacter little gun than a full-size double stack handgun but also want to have a substantial amount of rounds. And the 10 round capacity on this gun I think is a good thing. Anything over 10 rounds starts to make me feel more comfortable. Six rounds is really not that many rounds. You go through those really quickly. When I carry my Glock 43, I carry this backup magazine, which has a Terran tactical base plate, and so I have a nine round backup mag with it. Sometimes I carry another additional magazine as well. Six rounds is really not that much ammo. And when you do practical shooting, running and shooting, you realize that this is basically two engagements. You know, you get a hit, a hit, a miss, a hit, a hit, a miss, and basically now you're having to reload the gun. Ten rounds is uh, better than six rounds. It's four rounds better than six rounds. And it, it gives me, in terms of the way I think, about three or four engagements, you know, hits or, or misses in there. So I'm able to engage three, maybe four targets with uh, the uh, ten round mags. So I, I really like the Glock 43X. I want to show you here the holsters. So both these holsters were designed for the Glock 43, not just the X. And you can see here that that scalloping means that maybe there's just a little bit of, of movement there. It seemed like the guns rattled a little bit. Okay, that's certainly true here for this, this Galco holster. Okay, is that there seems to be a little bit more movement there. Whereas when I put the uh, standard 43 in, there's not that movement because we have the holster is designed for that square nose of the 43, not the rounded or beveled nose of the 43X. But both holsters work really well, and uh, I'll have reviews out on both of those here in the next month or so. Let me know what you guys think of the Glock 43X. Is it something you've thought about purchasing? Maybe you already own one. Do you like it? Has it been reliable? Or uh, maybe you hate it and you prefer other guns like the shield or other firearms. If you like this video, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel for more quality video reviews. Also, please support our sponsors, affiliates, and friends. Companies like Excess Sites, Valley Food Storage, Firebox Stoves, and Occam Defense Solutions. I'm currently working on editing a video on the install of the XS Big Dot Sights, the DXT2 Night Sights, onto my Glock 43. Obviously, I've already done that. You saw them on my gun in this video, but I have a detailed video of me installing those sights onto my Glock 43X that will be out by the end of this week. One thing that I like about XS Big Dot Sites is the fact that they are user installable. They come with the tools you need to install them and you can put them on yourself without any additional expensive tools. Are you interested in me doing more reviews on semi-automatic handguns? Do you want to see more videos on the SIG P365? Or would you like to see me continue to shoot my Glock 19 Brownell slide that's cut to accept the Trigicon RMR red dot sight. Will I shoot this gun more accurately, more quickly, more effectively? Maybe you're just sick and tired of semi-automatic handgun reviews and you're wanting a quality review on a revolver like the Smith & Wesson model 686P. Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe you're just completely sick and tired of guns and you want to see some reviews on chopping tools like the mini Grand Force Brooks Axe. Maybe a review on the SE3, a compact fixed blade knife made in the United States is more up your alley. Thank you very much for watching this video on the Glock 43X and allowing me to share my initial impressions on this unique offering from Glock. 
This is the Gear Tester signing off.